What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Juggalo972 back here playing Chrono Trigger, and we are on our way back to the cathedral. And by the way, though, just a quick note, though, if you keep exiting the forest and keep coming back here to this little monster right here, he will always drop a shelter for you. Yes. It's a good thing to know, though. That way you can actually have plenty amount of shelters as well, too, whenever you hit your save points, or if you want to make a little bit of extra money as well, too. And since Lucia has joined our party, though, while I've been gone, I have actually been uh, grinding just a little bit, though. Yes. I have grinded a little bit, though. I have learned a few techniques as well. Not to mention double techniques, which also, when you learn spells uh, cohesively, you develop uh, double techniques as well. So, yes. Teamwork is officially one of the biggest terms in this game as well, too. It's also a theme, too. Alright, let's get going now, shall we? Alrighty. But first, let's make a little bit of extra money, shall we? Let's see, how many uh, shelters do we have? Let's see, we've got about 14 shelters, so here's what we'll do we'll sell 11 of them. Gonna need some new weapons to go with it, too. Three bronze helmets. I'll buy a revive, too. Got plenty of tonics as well, too. And we only need three shelters to go with it as well, so. So, yeah, we should be okay. Let's get equipped, shall we? And I'll give Chrono the Power Glove. Because power does matter this early on in the game, too, so. Early on. Cathedral. We want nothing but world peace or a piece of the world. Okay. Stick around for the organ recital. It's a real killer. People wouldn't know what to do with themselves in a truly peaceful world. My, what delicious, uh, delightful looking humans. Looks like you could use some food and a place to rest. Huh. Well, what do we got here? A hairpin. Guardia's rolled crest. Uh oh. Okay, Naga Ets. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but yes, that appears to be what they are. These serpent ladies with gigantic boobs and snake uh, bottoms. Okay, well, you know what? Let's... Let's burn them. You may be cold-blooded, though, but you know what? Let's burn you. Let's <sighs> take a sip of my soda. With rum. Okay. Let's do it down. Hang on. Need that double tech. Don't want to use Cyclone. Oh. No wonder. She's using a slow spell on me. Alright. Let's bring it home, shall we? Alrighty. And done. 32 experience points and 4 tech points and 320 gold. Eh. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Oh! No, that's close right there. What the? Lower in thy guard and thou art allowing the enemy in. Thou art to save the queen? The lair is deep within. Would he accompany me? It appears to be a frog. My guys have not incurred thy trust. Very well. Do as thee please, but I shall save the queen. He really isn't. Well, we could use more allies. He's looking to save the queen, so let's bring the frog with us.
You know what? Frog should not be your name. I shall call him Glenn. Glenn will do. And there's a reason why his name's Glenn. Perhaps a hidden door lurks nigh. Let us search the environs. And the funny thing is, though, on the um, Nintendo DS version, he does not talk in such old English-esque uh, Shakespearean, like, English, if you will. He actually talks, you know, with just normal English. And would you look at here? We found ourselves a hidden door. Uh, BRB, everybody. Gotta go uh, AFK for a quick second. Alright, sorry about that. I just had to let my animals out real quick. And as we go through this little uh, hidden lair, if you will, we find uh, gargoyles, or Diabloses as they're called. Diablos. That is Spanish for devil. Yeah, you're gonna like Glenn as well, too. So here's the big difference between Glenn. Glenn uses a broadsword, while uh, Chrono uses a katana. So... Definitely, you know, English versus Japanese. Well, English with Japanese, if you will. And if anybody's ever played Chrono Cross, then, well, you'll know, you know, with the uh, where the correlation goes as well too. The uh, spiritual link, if you will. You know what? Something's a little bit wrong. Let me uh, let's make a little uh. Let's take a look at this real quick. Battle speed. Move it up the fast. We'll change the window color. How about that? We can do it Final Fantasy style. You know what? We'll do it Final Fantasy style. Classic Final Fantasy style. Alrighty. I'm pretty sure people will be a little bit more comfortable with that. Oh. Yeah, and there's more of these. Okay. Let's see what we got up here. This appears to be a library. A maiden suit, tonic, and an ether. And something used looks to be here too. The Nagat Brahmin. Uh oh. And that little uh, item that we just found is going to be coming in handy a little bit later. It's a special item, though, so, you know, it's nothing you have to worry about losing, too, so. Alrighty. Say goodbye, you henchman. That's gotta be one hell of a burn. Ooh, Hypno Wave. Alright, let's go looking around a little bit, and, ooh! But first. Ooh, it's... Steel Saber, here we go. Bronze Mail, oh, interesting, okay. Turns out the Bronze Mail was Glenn's after all. Oh, look, another hidden item. Power Tab. They're hiding the Queen in the back. Please rescue her. Well, there's two of you. How the hell did you get in there anyway? Surprised you weren't eaten. A room in here dedicated to Magus. But who is this Magus you speak of? Ugh. Move out of the way. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to talk shit to you. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Slash. A slash attack. That's a... Good way to explain it though. And four tech points to learn Slurp Cut for Frog. This frog over here, Glenn. Hey, what's with the disguise? No need for them here. It's almost my shift. I hate pretending to be human. It's so repulsive. Well, you know what though? There's a lot of humans out there that could be monsters like y'all. Matter of fact, they should be monsters. Two soldiers we caught look rather plump and juicy. Okay, um, yeah. Probably the soldier we talked to just a second ago. Wait, wait, hold on a second. What was this? I'll look on Mag's statue before my shift. Yakra's so smart, his plan to capture the Chancellor and take his place worked perfectly. Huh. 
No wonder the Chancellor's been acting a little strange. Alrighty. Let's go on in. Oh, would you look at that. Imposter King, Queen, and Soldier. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to end up being a fight. Nah, you know what? Let's not mess with them. They're not worth it, though. I'm not going to sting you, because that's my choice. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Alright, let's take care of these douchebags. Yeah. Four on three. I like those odds. Okay, now they're done with. Ooh, slurp cut. Ooh, an X strike. All right, two double techniques right there. Today was a good day. Save those power tabs real quick. Uh, of course. Let's make quick work of these snakes. These nasty these snakes, if you will. It's me, snakes. Leave it on the doorstep and get the hell out of here. Ace you said you owe me some dough. That effect. Too bad AC ain't in charge no more. Oh, yes. Definitely heal. Hang on. If. Definitely, alright. Sure, the queen is gone. What are we looking for? What do we got up here? Huh. Guarded by your spikes. RPG logic there. Let's forget this guy. He's asleep. And there's bats here, too. Sure. Let's fight the bats while we do. Ah, thanks to Lucia's sight scope. You can actually see your uh, enemy's HP as well, too, so... Regular enemy HP, though. Not your bosses. Man, these guys have this place heavily guarded, don't they? That slurp cut, yo. Which is level up. Okay. Level ups are good. It says, no entry. What do we got here? Spikes around. <laughs> I'll give you that, though. It had a little bit of style to it, though. But you weren't Macaulay Colgan, you know, 20 years ago. Not even 20 years ago. God, have you seen Macaulay Colgan as a plate, though? I swear to God, man. Cocaine looks like crack did damage to him. In there, you know, with that face of his, though. Looks like Jonathan Lipnicki. <laughs> yeah, the kid from Jerry Maguire. All right, let's try this again. Slash. And I don't mean. From Guns N' Roses. Ah, finding atop a bed of spikes that's actually been reeled back. You ever just wonder if those one of those things is gonna come right up and stab you right in the balls? Ugh. Scary, that's a scary fear to think about. Alright, here we go. Iron Sword, and let's play the organ again. There's a reason why I didn't like church as a kid, though. It's because of that. I always thought that, you know, when you're in church, you know, just listen to the organs play, though. I always thought that Dracula was going to just pop out.
You know what? We'll save. Always save. Don't be a square. Matter of fact, you got a couple of squares there, Johnny Two Tops. What does the note say this time? Try hard enough and you will find a way. Sure that wasn't a note. Sure that wasn't just a... Well, never mind. Oh, what do we got here? Alright, you know what? We'll make quick work of these four, if you will. Let's move on. <sighs> Normally I wouldn't use magic like that, though, but... I don't want to try to. I don't, I'm not trying to bore you guys. I'm not trying to bore my viewers out there. So let's keep going. Oh, prepare yourself, Queen Lean. Um, I fought my way through. Majesty, stand back and allow us the honor. Yeah, it's useless to fight. No one will leave here alive. Stupid frog, it's time you jumped off this mortal coil. Ooh, very biblical. This mortal coil. Oh, man. God damn, you're ugly. Reverts to Yakra. Alrighty, well, Yakra is not easy. Well, especially early on if you haven't grinded as much too. Extract does really, really, really good damage as well too. Now, usually like in any RPG that I usually play though, I have one healer and two fighters. But, you need to have as many people heal as much as you can though because he starts drooling and then start ramming everybody. Now, it doesn't do very much damage though, but if he does it enough, he will drain you down. And I make a mistake by just attacking him as he moves too. And that's mistake number three. Too close, can't counterattack. Okay. Give him a fire whirl and make sure everybody remains healthy. Depending on how close and who attacks who, that's how I counterattacks everybody. Yeah, Chris Needle attack. Oh, that's nasty. Where the hell did those... Ugh. Where the hell did those come from? Okay, Glenn's at its lowest right now, so we need to heal him. Okay, we're good. Looks like he's getting ready to shoot his needles again. Strike it is again. Whoa. God, such a cool move. Oh, look at that. X marks the spot and Yakra is down. Alright. Rest in piss, you monster. Chronos level up. Cleanse level up. Oh. Chrono Cross fans will recognize this. The king awaits. Let us return to the castle. I thank the Chrono and Lucia. I will join. Let's, uh, what's in the spoils? A mid ether. Alrighty. And whoa! The real chancellor. That monster stopped me in there. Oh, your highness, as you can see, I'm undamaged. Yes, let's return to the castle. Let's get out of this damn cathedral. 
that no good Yakra impersonating me and kidnapping the queen. We must create a criminal justice system in this kingdom to do away with such fiends. I failed to protect Queen Lean. I have disgraced he. he apparently he has disgraced the... Ah, oh, looks like we need to go console him. Who was that girl we found in the canyon? <gasps> Prince Nadia, huh? But let's go talk to him. T'was a fault of mine which endangered the queen. I shall depart for good. Chrono, you have potential to be a good swordsman. No, he wasn't. He was a damn fine swordsman, as a matter of fact. He's my favorite character in this game. Well, looks like we need to go back to Truce Canyon. So before we head back to Truce Canyon, let's go to the Queen's room. Sorry, I just misread it when I heard Girl at Truce Canyon. Oh! Would you look at that? She's back. Somewhere dark, cold, and lonely. Gotta hope not. I'd hope to think that there's a heaven. Um, yeah, we know who you are. King Guardian the 33rd. Wow. Hey, titles don't care. Just as long as you my woman. Because <laughs> remember, I'm a gentleman. Here, let's go introduce you to your ancestor. From 400 years in the past. This ought to be interesting. We have a full party too. Hopefully we didn't spoil the past there. Alright. Let's make sure uh, Nadia is properly equipped. Let's cap at a karate game. Alrighty. Ah. Alrighty. Now we can go back to Juice Canyon. These damn eagles. Hang on. Oh, look at that. Green imps. Oh, look at that. A different kind of roly. Yeah, so we've got some new double techniques as well, too. Let's check them out. The Aura Roll. Aura Whirl. Yeah, try saying that twice really fast. The R Whirl. <laughs> Observe. Oh, it's look at that. 
Swear to God, she's just like Bulma from Dragon Ball Z. I mean, Toriyama did, you know, character design all this. If you say so. Anyways, I call this thing a gate. That's kind of a portal that takes you to the same location in a different era. Gates are very unstable, so I use the principle behind my telepod device to create a gate key. Now we can use them as we please. Either the telepod has something to do with it, or something else made it. Hmm. Thinking really hard, are we? Let's just get back to the present. Back to the present! And no, no flux capacitor needed. And there is no... Oh, no audience. Why don't you go home with me to, to the castle? I'd like to come... Oh, dinner! I should be the one taking you out for dinner, but you know what? You're royalty. Well, you know what? I am a gentleman, and I will take her home. Can't wait to meet your dad. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end it right here, though, because we are headed to Guardia Castle in the present, the year 1000. So, while we're at it, though, I will bid you adieu right now from the present, and we will be talking to you real soon. You know, here in the present as well, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Juggle972. Much love, and I'll see you on episode three.